everyone welcome to another episode of investment jargons demystified as you know under the series we try to cover as many terminologies as possible so we can simplify your investment journey in series ke andar maine bahut sare videos cover kiye the such as how to read a profit and loss statement what are corporate actions few important terminologies such as market capitalization enterprise value and many more so if you have missed watching this videos i have dropped the url in the description section below और अगर हमारे वीडियोस आपको पसंद है तो डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन बिकॉज दैट विल मोटिवेट अस टू क्यूरेट मोर वीडियोस टू सिंपलीफाई योर इन्वेस्टमेंट जर्नी नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टू इंपॉर्टेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टुडे एंड दे आर रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड आल्सो कॉल्ड एज आरओसीई इन शॉर्ट एंड रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी आल्सो कॉल्ड एज आरओई इन शॉर्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर व्हाट इज आरओसीई एंड व्हाट इज आरओई हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट देम how do you interpret them what is the difference between both of them and most importantly when should you know that which ratio you should use should you look at roce or should you look at roe while looking at investments so let's get started with the first terminology which is roce roce return on capital employed is nothing but a financial metric which tells you how much each rupee of earning is generated with each rupee of capital employed in the business sounds complicated Let me simplify it for you. अगर आपको बेसिक याद हो तो मैंने आपको कहा था कि हर एक बिजनेस को फंड की जरूरत लगती है इधर फॉर डेली ऑपरेशन और फॉर एक्सपेंशन रीजन नॉट द सोर्सेज ऑफ फंड कैन बी फ्रॉम टू कॉम्पोनेट दे कैन बी फ्रॉम शेयर होल्डर फंड और दे कैन बी थ्रू बोरोइंग अब शेयर होल्डर फंड देते हैं बिजनेस को इन रिटर्न ऑफ अ स्टेक इन द कंपनी वेर एज लैंडर सच एज बैंक दे गिव फंड टू द कंपनी इन रिटर्न ऑफ अ टाइमली इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट ऑब्वियसली अलॉन्ग विद रीपेमेंट ऑफ द बोरोड कैपिटल तो ये दोनों सर्विसेज ऑफ फंड हुए हर एक बिजनेस के लिए तो आर ओ सी इज नथिंग बट इट टेल्स यू हाउ मच अर्निंग और रिटर्न इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच ऑफ इट्स स्टेक होल्डर और द स्टेक होल्डर्स कैन बी शेयर होल्डर्स और दे कैन बी द लैंडर्स हु लैंड शॉर्ट टर्म और लॉन्ग टर्म बोरोइंग टू द कंपनी बट हाउ डू कैलकुलेट आर ओ सी ई लेट्स रुक एट द फॉर्मूला सो आर ओ सी इज कैलकुलेटेड एज एबिट विच इज अर्निंग बिफोर इंटरेस्ट एंड टैक्सेस डिवाइडेड बाई कैपिटल एम्प्लॉय as i told you capital employed is the sum of shareholders fund plus borrowings now the shareholder funds constitutes of share capital plus reserves and surplus whereas the borrowings constitute both long term and short term borrowing let's go to the basics over here agar aapne mera video dekha hoga how to read a profit and loss statement aapko maine kaha tha ki net income is what is available to the equity shareholders whereas interest component is reserved for the lenders of the company So now this EBIT, which is earnings before interest and taxes, constitute of both the components, that is net income as well as the interest payment. Hence, we take EBIT in the numerator. So if I have to give an example, say for example, the EBIT of the company is rupees hundred on the capital employed of rupees two hundred, then your ROCE would be nothing but fifty percent. Now, higher the ROC is better or lower the ROC is better. Obviously, stakeholders prefer companies which has higher ROC, which means they are getting higher returns on the capital employed. And if possible, stakeholders always prefer companies which has ROC that is higher than the cost of capital. Obviously, if cost of capital se ROC come hoga, then the stakeholders would la- start looking at other sources of investment avenues. Now, let's look at few of the companies which has ROC high hai or low hai. So if you see Hero Motor Corp ka ROCE hai 26.52 percentage Pirelite ka hai 32.53 percentage Britannia ka hai 38.79 percentage Tata still has a ROCE of 9.49 percentage whereas Vedanta has a ROCE of 5.68 percentage Now what does this indicate Obviously agar aap dekhoge to Tata still aur Vedanta ka ROCE kam hai as compared to the other companies such as Pirelite or Britannia Now this doesn't mean कि Tata Steel और Vedanta अच्छे business नहीं है It's just that this companies are more capital intensive, which means they require high debt levels to run the business. Hence उनका ROC ये कम है. Whereas companies such as Hero Motor Corp, Pirelite, Britannia are low on debt levels. So this was all about ROC. Now let me tell you one important thing about ROC which only a few will tell you about. Remember our previous example where rupees hundred was your EBIT. And rupees two hundred was capital employed. In that case, ROCE was fifty percent. So this fifty percent in the example above means that the total capital of the company has a payback period of two years. 
अगर आपको हीरो मोटोकॉप का आर याद है विच इज ट्वेंटी इट वुड मीन दैट अ पे बैक पीरियड फॉर द कैपिटल एम्प्लॉय टू गेट बैक इज थ्री पॉइंट सेवन ईयर्स Now let's look at the second terminology of the day, which is return on equity, also called as ROE in short. While ROC tells you how much profitability the company has been able to deliver for both the stakeholders, which is shareholders and the lenders, ROE tells you how much efficient the company has been able to generate returns from the investment received from its equity shareholders. So how do you calculate ROE? ROE is calculated as profit after tax divided by the shareholder funds now you may ask that if the company doesn't have any loan on its book in that case will roce be similar to roe yes it would be almost similar the only difference would be in case of roce you take ebit in the numerator which is earnings before interest and taxes now if there is no loan there is no interest in that case your ebit would become profit before tax whereas in case of roe you would take profit after tax that's the only difference now the coming to the most important part of the video which is should you look at roe or should you look at roce while identifying the business opportunity well if the company doesn't have any loan or debt in its book then you should look at roe however few sectors which are capital intensive such as real estate construction bank now why bank because most of the deposits are liability for the banks so in such cases you should always look at roc because it gives you more accurate picture of the profitability in this case if you look at roa then the number would look too high and fancy which would not give you a real picture about the profitability of the business so that's it for today i hope you have already subscribed to our channel so you do not miss out on any updates related to markets indian economy and stock thank you and happy investing